Hey guys, my name is Tito. I make videos on personal finance on my other channel. On this channel, I talk about other things, like today when I'll be reviewing the new Nollywood film, Yahoo Plus. Yahoo Plus is a thriller about desperate and disillusioned youths who look to a life of crime and ritualism as a means to attain fast fame and wealth. Yahoo Plus was filmed on location in Enugu and is directed by Ibuka Njoku. Now three things real quick. First of all, sorry if I sound a bit groggy, I'm recovering from a cold. Secondly, this should be a very quick movie review. Third, the actors in this film, Yahoo Plus, you've probably never heard of them before because this film wasn't shot in Lagos, it was shot in Enugu on a very tight budget from what I'd imagine. Um, speaking of which, the performances, Somadina, Adima and Kizito, they play Abacha and um, Ose. And these two young men are, you know, guys who are at their wit's end, who are frustrated with the hardship in Nigeria and want to make money, quick money, by any means necessary, including going into Yahoo Plus. Now, Yahoo Plus generally is a combination of internet fraud, but mainly also, you know, human parts, you know, people selling stuff like that to make quick money. And it's it's a crime, It's uh, it happens in Nigeria. It's a thing, right? So in order for these two young men to play these characters convincingly, I think it required a lot of skill, which they actually showed because the profile of men who engage in Yahoo or Yahoo Plus is very common amongst us Nigerians. We know these young men who want, you know, who want to live the fast life and make money real quick and just, just do anything to make money. And um, so it's a familiar profile. So being able to pull off that profile or pull off that kind of role without making it look like you're acting takes a certain level of skill. And I think these two young men with their performances did a fantastic job. They showed a range of emotions from, you know, excitement, enthusiasm, frustration, anger, and confusion because at the point where we meet them in the movie, they're just coming into the business for the first time. And they really did, you know, convey that naivete and, you know, the, the uh, curiosity and the, just the emotions that you'd imagine somebody coming into that, that way of life for the first time would feel. Now, Ken Eriks is also in the film. He plays Ikolo, a very like insightful kind of character. He's like a Don in the film. And um, this movie is very insightful, <laughs> right? And a lot of the insights in the film come from the character that Ken Eriks plays, i.e. Ikolo. And his performance too was very good. And his dialogue too in the movie, his lines too were very, very good. Now, Lillian Echelon Mbadiwe and Ifoma Obinwa, they play Kamso and Pinopino or Pinopino. Um, two young ladies who get like thrown into the mix. And um, I'm going to be very vague about the movie because this film, I think I enjoyed it. And I think part of why I enjoyed it because I, was because I knew very little about the film going into the film. So I'll try not to give you guys too many details about the film in case you plan on going to go and see it, right? So yeah, these two young ladies, they get thrown into the mix of the whole Yahoo Plus thing. One of them is very street smart. The other one is very naive. And the performances from both actors were very convincing. I think I would have liked more emotion from Lilian Echelon Mbadiwe's character, Kamso. But regardless, they, they, they knew what the assignment was and they delivered it quite well. So kudos to both actresses. What I liked, I liked that this film was filled with new faces. There are only five actors in this film. Well, there are six, but you only see five. And I didn't know any of them and that helped me because there were no preconceived notions when I was watching these actors. I wasn't comparing their performance in this film to, you know, a performance I'd seen them uh, do in any other film. So I loved that first and foremost. Secondly, there are very few cuts, if any at all, you know, in the dialogue scenes and scenes with long dialogue or very intense dialogue. And that's a very rare thing to see in films these days, particularly in Hollywood films, because it means that these actors had to study their lines or remember their lines for four or five, six, seven minutes at a time for scenes that were like four, five, six, seven minutes long. And there were very few cuts. And that showed a level of skill and maturity. And it made the conversation or the dialogue also feel very natural. And which is another thing entirely that I liked. The dialogue felt very natural. I didn't feel like I was watching actors running lines. I, I felt like I was watching real people having a real conversation. And I really loved that. Also, I love the fact that they dealt with a topic that's socially relevant to Nigeria and by extension to the world kind of. But in terms of Nigeria, the fact that there are many disillusioned young men who are willing to do anything to make money real quick 
you know it makes it very relatable it's something that is a problem in nigeria and i love the fact that they treated that i love the fact that they also treated it from an educational point of view as well because you know they educated us and demystified the world of yahoo plus another advantage or another thing i liked about it was the story the story was very was different and it was unique and the way the story was even told you know from the directing to was also very beautiful we've seen other stories you know and other movies where the core or at the heart of it is ritualism and all that like you know more recently blood covenant but this film educates you on you know what we think is happening and what's actually happening and the difference between the two next the directing and the storytelling was quite good ibuka njoku he directs this film and he also wrote the story and the creative use of you know limited resources because i'd imagine this film was done on a limited budget but they did the best with what they had what they had sometimes it feels like a one camera production all through and they use space and angles creatively and I, I i loved it it was very different from you know things i've become accustomed to seeing in nollywood films lately and also this film was on this film was unashamedly Igbo. you know they speak lots of Igbo in the film you know it's subtitled quite well as well but i love the fact that because i don't see that many Igbo films honestly the only movies i've seen in recent times where there's a lot of Igbo in it and it's even decreased over the years is the films from play networks but i enjoy hearing Igbo in movies and i love the fact that you know Igbo was spoken so often and it was just so much of the culture and the, the storytelling in this film another thing i love in the about the film is that it was kind of self-aware they actually made reference to living in bondage both the movies so the film felt rather self-aware so yeah these are just some of the things that i really i didn't expect to see in the film and that i actually really liked in the film what i didn't like um there the camera work in the film at certain points wasn't smooth it was quite bumpy and i didn't like that also i wish that the, many of the scenes were better lit the film there are lots of scenes at night but i feel like they could have still have they could have been better lit who should see it personally i think every young nigerian above the age of 18 should see yahoo plus because there's a message in there for everyone i also think that every young man or woman or old man or woman who is kind of like at their wits end who is desperate to make money by any means including going into a life of crime i think they should also see this movie because they, they may learn a lesson and change their ways as a result of the film i also think men and women or people who like films that they watch on africa magic you know afri Nolly, iroko tv if you like films that you watch on those platforms i think you'll also enjoy this film i also think Igbo men and Igbo women who like Igbo nollywood films i think they'll really enjoy this movie as well finally movie enthusiasts like myself who are able to look beyond the fact that a film doesn't have big name stars and look beyond the low production value that a film has and you know view it or appreciate it for its very good story if you're in that class if you're that kind of person who can look beyond the fluff and see a really good story or appreciate a really good story then i think you should see this film as well i think you really enjoy it so in conclusion um this film really is not for everyone despite everything i've just said right the fact is many nigerians will not go and see a nollywood film if the, if the film doesn't have big name stars that's one many nigerians will go and see a nollywood film if the poster or the promotional material doesn't look nice and appealing that's two to be honest i'm also in that class because i don't think i'd have seen this movie if i didn't if i wasn't going to review it right third um many nigerians will not see a nollywood film if it has like if it looks low budget and sadly that's kind of the vibe that this movie gives but in spite of all those factors i still stand by it that this is a great film it has a fantastic story the directing is great the acting is 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 top tier it's really nice could be better but it's really nice it's good enough but that said this movie isn't everyone's cup of tea this film came out on friday july 1st today is sunday july 3rd i already have a friend an instagram friend who has, who went to watch the film because of my recommendation you know and how i raved about it on instagram but she didn't enjoy it so yeah this movie isn't everyone's cup of tea at the end of the day i really do hope the film does well in cinemas 
but I hope they also get a very good deal with a streaming platform because I feel it will do much better once you know it gets online than it will do you know when when it's done with its cinema run you know in cinemas across the nation. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. You can't tell but my throat hurts right now so I can't wait to wrap this up. If you enjoyed this review please like it by clicking on the like button just underneath the video. I'd really appreciate it. It would really help my day. It would help me, this video and my channel a great deal. And please remember to subscribe to my channel as well by clicking on the red subscribe button. On this channel, I don't just do Nollywood movie reviews. I also talk about relationships. I have some awesome relationship videos coming out real soon in this month of July. In fact, I think I'm, I meant to drop one today. Um, we'll see how that goes. But I have some relationship videos coming out. So check out some of my relationship videos and my past Nollywood reviews. You can click the card in the corner of the screen. Thank you guys so much. Jesus, my voice. <laughs> I think I'm about to lose it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you've seen the film uh, Yahoo Plus, come and let, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about it. All the best to the cast and crew of that movie. I really enjoyed it. I think it's safe to say it's one of the better films I've seen this year. It will probably make my, my list of top 10 films or top 10 Nollywood films of 2022. I wish them all, all the best. And it was very refreshing to see something different and something made, you know, outside of Lagos, you know, by a small crew or a small budget and all that. Like it, just a small film that did big things for me, to be honest, you know, in the cinema. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. My voice, Jesus. <laughs>